So what I'm going to show you is the installation of the Rotax on a YG4. Now, it doesn't matter if it's an Apex or an RX1, it's all the same with my adapter. Um, just a different adapter collar up here and the plate has to be milled for the adapter collar. Now, I'm going to use a GT4. This is a clutch that Mohawk makes. Uh, this particular one is a Sprague. It's actually a GT5. It's got stainless steel sleeves that are inserted uh, press fit in here and then spot welded to, for security. Um, this goes right on here. And then the stainless steel spacer and the half inch bolt go in here. Now the studs screw into the Rotex flange. And the Rotax flange slips in here, just like that. And then your gearbox slips over the flange. And notice there's an aligning collar that's precision milled on the adapter plate. It fits flush into here, nice snug fit. So we want to get it aligned with the bolt holes into the cover plate. And that's it. Next we take the bolts. Make sure the holes are aligned reasonably. There we go. Now ordinarily you do eight of these, but I'm just showing you the alignment. Now with an RK400 clutch you couldn't get the alignment because there's 20 thousandths gap between the inside shoes and the outside drum, which allows for a 40 thousandths misalignment of this and your clutch and your drive. So, by using a GT4 or a GT5 clutch, there is no room for error because it's all uh, precision aligned. The clutches are built with bearings inside of them, so there's no slop there. Uh, the hub and the drum, there's no slop there because of the bearings. And then, so this all has to be perfectly aligned or else this isn't going to go in. So we slip this in here into the bearing and line up the splines and it pops right in. Perfect alignment. 